I'm Dave from Reflection, a journaling app that offers meaningful AI-powered insights. And today I'm giving you a behind the scenes look at our agentic development process. Now we have two incredible developers, Isaac and Brian, but we ship on four platforms, iOS, Android, Mac, and web. And we have an ambitious product roadmap. So finding ways to ship fast is critical for us. For a while now, our team has used AI enabled IDEs like Cursor and Copilot, but things really changed about two months ago when we started using agentic coding tools like OpenAI's Codex and Cloud Code. Our workflow has been evolving with the tech, but today I want to give you a snapshot of how, with our tiny team, we're able to ship months of features in weeks using the latest tools alongside our own prompts and our own workflows. I'm going to give you a high level overview. And then I'm going to kick it over to our CTO, Brian, and the architect behind all of this, who will show you step by step how we did it. It starts with a task in our project manager, Asana, either a new feature or a bug. Often this is a few lines or an idea, very rough. Um, it could even just be a customer support email and a link to a design file in Figma. Now, our developer, Brian, doesn't even open up Asana. He uses a custom command in terminal through Cloud Code to pull up all the development ready tasks using the Asana MCP. When he selects a task, Cloud Code takes it over. First, following our multi step instructions, Cloud creates a detailed plan. It studies the task, our existing code base, and any external links like SDKs. Um, it could use the Figma MCP to understand the design requirements, and it's smart. If the design is only in light mode, it knows that we ship everything in light and dark mode, and it follows our established coding patterns. It also identifies and plans for all the necessary code coverage to maintain quality throughout the app. Next, Cloud starts coding. Once it's finished, it creates a pull request in GitHub. The pull request automatically triggers another tool we love, CodeRabbit. CodeRabbit reviews the new code and gives line by line feedback directly in GitHub. Now, this is my favorite part. Cloud reviews CodeRabbit's feedback and it either implements a suggestion or replies to it in a comment thread. We literally have two AIs debating the best way to code a new feature and a ton of work gets done and documented before a developer even needs to look at it. Now, when our team reviews the pull request, they have the full context of the AI's conversation and all of the changes. Features that used to take months are now consistently shipping in two week cycles and it's getting faster. And here's the coolest part, CodeRabbit learns from valid pushback from Cloud. So both AI tools are constantly getting better and more aligned. Now I'm gonna kick it over to Brian to show you how this all works under the hood. All right, thanks, Dave. So this terminal is my primary workspace. To start a task, I use a custom command we built using Cloud Code's built-in terminal uh, slash commands. Um, so let me show you how we kick off our development work for Reflection app now. So we manage our workflow with an on-deck column in Asana, where all tasks that are ready to be processed are listed. So I create a custom slash command in Claude code that connects to Asana, displays all the tasks in the on deck column, and lets me select which one to start next. So this is what Dave was referring to as our guideline engine. Each reflection app code task is initially created by a human, and usually with a brief description and sometimes we add links to resources or documentation for Claude to review. And these aren't really detailed specs, they're just enough to get started. So once a task is selected, it's sent to Claude. Our orchestration layer then instructs Claude to do its research. So that could be anything from searching our code base, performing web research, and reviewing documentation. Claude gathers all this information and it sort of synthesizes it into a more complete and actionable task description for itself, which it uses as the foundation for its own further implementation. So this initial research and planning step is crucial. This is something that we have found and sort of engineered to be the best approach that we found yet. And it ensures that Claude or uh, AI has this full context and a clear plan before writing any feature code or attempting to fix an issue in our code base. Now, what really sets uh, our process apart and is a key driver of our product velocity and quality is the automated review process. This is the most important part. 
after Claude completes a task, it automatically creates a pull request within our GitHub. Then it immediately kicks off another uh, AI tool that we use called CodeRabbit, which begins reviewing the pull request. Now, this sets up a unique and highly efficient back and forth between Claude and CodeRabbit within our orchestration pipeline. So sometimes CodeRabbit will raise a valid point about an optimization or some other potential issue. And Claude uh, is basically, it, it isn't programmed to accept all feedback blindly. If, if it believes that its approach is correct, it will sort of stand its ground and provide a reasoned explanation after often detailing how it has already accounted for whatever issue CodeRabbit is bringing up um, or whatever other concern in its implementation. So this is our AI to AI interaction and it's not a native feature. This is also something we've been building. We've built into our orchestration layer and we define how our AI agents act and respond to one another. And this enables this sort of really productive dialogue between the two. So what's especially powerful and highly scalable here is that the, every time Claude corrects or explains something to CodeRabbit, those learnings are saved to a knowledge base specific to uh, our application. So over time, this process makes CodeRabbit a smarter and more context-aware reviewer. The entire review cycle happens autonomously, and the result is a pull request that is about 98% production ready, requiring a final check from a human reviewer. As a result, my role as a developer has fundamentally shifted, so I no longer need to be present throughout the entire development cycle. Instead, I spend less time on these routine sort of coding uh, tasks and more time on our high level orchestration, architecture and complex problem solving, uh, focusing on, you know, really critical sort of final 2% validation type stuff, which is where I would prefer to be. So this workflow allows us to take on a larger product initiative and sort of implement new features for Reflection App at a, at a speed we just couldn't achieve before. So, you know, we're constantly evolving this system every day. I'm making tweaks and improvements to our process. And our next step is really uh, an exciting one where we're gonna be migrating our workflow from Asana, which is great, but to a new platform that we're going to be using called Linear, which is designed really specifically for this kind of agentic development. So while Asana integration was really simple to set up and really effective, we're excited to see what these new possibilities that Linear will unlock for Reflection App and the de development process overall. Definitely, our vision is to close the loop from user feedback directly to bug fixes and new features in Reflection Apps, especially for those issues that developers like myself would prefer not to spend time on. So this approach is core to sort of our, our mission of empowering uh, development team and the development process, but also users and delivering a sort of seamless, really intelligent uh, experience for them. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, Brian. Every time I see this in action, my mind is blown. And the coolest part is our users are noticing. We're getting emails from users blown away by these new features in each sprint. And with each improvement to our workflow, we're able to spend more time focusing on the larger picture, finding better ways to provide meaning and value to the entire reflection experience. As you may have noticed, I love talking about this stuff. So if you have any questions or have an AI DevOps workflow you use, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching and I hope it was interesting and helpful.